welcome you to my review of a Apica notebook. Now, notebooks aren't really the thing I usually review because I prefer to review pens, but every so often, I think it's important to go back to the canvas. A notebook, is, or any paper really, is the canvas upon which your beautiful pens perform, upon which you create your masterpieces, whether they be shopping lists, letters, or your Nobel Prize piece Winning novel. Okay, sorry, that came out wrong. <laughs> that wasn't meant to be sarcastic. I, I was trying to say Nobel Prize winning novel, and then I thought, wait, do they have that category? <laughs> so, okay. Well, oh, that's turned out terrible. Maybe I'll edit that part out. Anyway, so this is a brand new notebook, uh, still wrapped in plastic. Uh, you can see it has some uh, Japanese writing. This is a premium CD notebook. Uh, very, uh, it, it's a soft cover notebook. The back has some more Japanese. The uh, inside, you can see there's a index. And then you jump to the true strength, which is the paper. And I pur purchased the line paper version. The color of the cover reveals what kind of line it has inside it. The, the blue cover has the lined paper. There is a plain paper version. There is a graph paper version. So I suppose whatever floats your boat. Now, uh, so it comes with this plastic cover, which of course naturally you remove. Now I'm going to set it aside um, because I have a wealth of writing samples right here. This is my uh, what I've been doing my pen reviews in since... Yeah, I just realized I've never done a date on any of these. <laughs> I just kind of assumed I'd open it and see a date. So I feel stupid. So my very first review was a Hero 616. I'm going to use the magic of editing and quick look up when the heck I reviewed that pen. All right, so it looks like I last reviewed this pen on March 31st of 2016. So it's been quite some time ago. And uh, anyway, so I have a wealth of writing samples here. And I'll tell you one of the things I noticed that they have in common. It doesn't matter what ink I use. I don't have a feathering problem. None of these feather. Uh, when I... Now, when I look for bleed through... Okay, I found a little here with my Wing Sung 698 review, which uh, ended up not showing because I was I just wasn't a very quality review. When I did it again the next week, no bleed through. A little bit of show through, but I, I was really bearing down. Like I said, I was tired when I filmed that. Uh, here's one with a little bit of show through. Kaigaloo 316 with a Detrimentous Pearl Violet. Custom 823. Oh, I didn't notice I had some. I had a little bit of bleed through on that one. Pilot Custom 823. But in general, I don't have bleed through. A little bit of show through. Oh, sorry about the autofocus there. It doesn't really like blank paper. Um, but anyway, you know, I could keep going here. Oh, there's some. My uh, Columbus 65, which is a super wet pen did have a little bit of bleeding. But uh, that is a big deal to me, that it's not bleeding. Ooh, this is a bleedy ink. I've got a prediction that that's Concord Breen. I'm right. Concord Breen. So, yeah, paging through. No. that This is very high-quality paper. So, again, now I'm questioning what side of the page what side of the screen to put it on. I'm going to put it over here. <laughs> I like that phrase on the cover of this notebook, choose a paper like you would a pen. Uh, I'll tell you why I like that. Paper, I mean, it, it sounds trite, but paper really is the canvas upon which I write. Uh, I, I don't need to have the best paper, but if my, if when I put pen to paper, it goes Push, and it's spreading everywhere and it, it's bleeding through. That definitely sucks a lot of the enjoyment out of it. Now, for purely business writing, yeah, it sucks a lot of the enjoyment out of it. Sorry. Uh, I, I don't mind a little bit lower quality paper for purely business writing, but still, it better write correctly. 
otherwise they just get annoyed. So uh, this is the pinnacle, and that's why I chose it for my pen reviews. Um, this new notebook will be my next set of pen reviews, and I think I'm going to start including dates on them now because that was awkward. Uh, now, what other features are in the notebook? Well, there are lines on the cover, I suppose. Presumably, you could add titles, but I think I would want like a white marker because it's very dark covered, and especially if I had the black cover, yeah, good luck seeing that. Um, index is a nice feature. I, I started to index my pens, but then I realized, yeah, I'm going to run out of pages here. So then I left the first page blank, which I'm going to use as my writing, my other writing sample. Um, but those, that's pretty much it for your extra features. No pockets, no other indexes, no page numbers. Uh, soft cover, like I said. It is bound into signatures. Very well bound, by the way. Very high quality notebook. And that brings me to one of the issues with a notebook. Uh, a notebook of this quality, you're going to pay for. Expect to pay north of $20 for a notebook like this, you twenty dollars US. That is a lot of money for a notebook, and I'm not convinced that a notebook is entirely worth that. Okay, I own it. Uh, I did like it for pen reviews, but I really struggle to see where in my life that notebook fits. Uh, yes, I write novels and such, but uh, not notebooks of this quality. Uh, I suppose if I was into deep journaling or something more intellectual, possibly. But again, I don't know. I suppose we're thinking my search for the ultimate notebook is still going on. I don't know. Okay, so I promised a writing sample. I almost did my pens in use in this notebook, but I'm not going to go that far. But I have a selection of pens here. So let's just pick out one or two that may be particularly instructive in which I can zoom in and we can rip. Oops, wrong way. I'm trying the camcorder in a slightly different location, so uh, this is a little complicated. So this, this pen, um, so this is the Apica. Sorry, i got to look at the name. CD Notebook. I don't, I wasn't able to figure out what uh, CD stands for, and it may not stand for anything. So this first pen and ink I'm using. Now, yes, you can, you're probably thinking, oh, you're a little, okay. So I was a little too zoomed in there. This is my Pilot Custom Ninety two heritage uh, has a broad nib. The ink is Noodler's Matahari's Cordial. And you can see there, if I zoom in especially a bit, oops, wrong way, there's no feathering. I don't know if you can find feathering on any of my pages. Uh, bleed through, let's take a look. I'm going to predict none. And you'll notice a lot of my writing samples, oh, I wouldn't call this bleed through, but definitely show through. All right. I, I'm not going to write with every one of these pens, but let's get a representative sample. Uh, let's do, this is a nice pen, Pelican 400 Annette. And the ink is Noodler's. Black Swan, I'll just abbreviate, Black Swan in Australian Rose. Very attractive. And I'm going to wait a minute to, sh to look whether this shows through or not, because I would like to 
give the ink a chance to dry and do all of its soaking. Okay, this is an ink I'm going to put down next that somebody suggested looks a lot like it, although it won't show up in this video because it needs some time to uh, oxidize. So this is my Wing Sung 698, which I recently reviewed. Um, the ink is Platinum Classic Lavender Black. Definitely seem to be running in the same family here. And that, of course, is a slightly lighter colored ink for now. All right, let's do something totally different. This will be a Robert Oster ink in a Caveco Sport. This has a double broad ink. I'm uh, sorry, double broad nib. Okay, come on, puppy. That, by the way, is a feature, I should say, bug, I will be bringing up when I finally review this pen. That has nothing to do with this paper and everything to do with the pen. Uh, this is Robert Oster. River of Fire. And again, you probably can't see all of that. Um... I do know that. Now, so what I, uh, my feeling that I get from this paper, it is smooth. It is very smooth. Uh, sometimes I think it suffers from the same problem as the Tomoe River paper. It is almost too smooth at times. That said, ink shows up beautifully on it. Your shading shows up beautifully. And actually, I wish I had a pen inked with Noodler's Blue Nose Bear because it shows the amazing features of Noodler's Blue Nose Bear very well, the halo effect. Uh, this is just a very good paper. Um, I'm not convinced it's worth $20, but uh, if you don't look at this as your daily writing notebook and you look at more as a sort of a keepsake kind of notebook where you'll put important things like maybe uh, quotes or uh, important memories or whatnot, yeah, I, I can see spending $20. I, I would not buy this notebook for school. I wouldn't buy it for work. I wouldn't buy it for any kind of utilitarian purpose. It's got to be something special. Apparently, pen reviews are special enough for me. So next week when I review my next pen, whatever it is, I will start a new notebook of the same type. Uh, and I, I should also mention, I guess I kind of forgot to, the line spacing is 7 millimeters, which is just far enough apart, but definitely kind of with that Japanese sensibility in mind where they want where they use the very fine nibs and write on the small side so anyway i uh it was mentioned to me that one of my recent reviews i didn't have a whole lot of passion i, I hope i hope i express the amount of passion i feel for this notebook which is uh on a mediocre level uh, i i'm not going to pretend i'm super excited by this notebook there are other paper products that excite me a lot more which I, th I will be reviewing down the road. Um, but that said, I do like this notebook. I uh, basically only use it to review fountain pens. Uh, I filled one up with writing once, novel writing, but uh, I have cheaper notebooks I prefer for that purpose. So, uh, What was happening there, I'll just tell you, I'd write, but then I'd sit there and think, okay, Oh, I guess the notebook could be open. Trying trying to get the ink the water to evaporate out of the ink so I could turn the page without it smudging and smearing. Yeah. When, when I'm writing a novel, when I'm taking notes, I don't want to deal with that. So that was less than ideal. Something like this where I can set the notebook carefully aside. Yeah. Why not? So uh let's zoom in real quick. Look, take one last gander. I see the tiniest bit of feathering around the end here. I laid down a lot of ink. And let's just look at bleed through. Okay, definitely some show through. You could argue there's a teeny bit of bleed through on the end on noodlers. But uh, I think it did pretty well. 
So anyway, I, uh, I don't know how long the edited video will be, but I see that I have spent 17 minutes and 26 seconds on this video uh, talking about a notebook of all things. So hope that was interesting, hope it was useful. Um, like I said, not a daily use notebook, but if you have something special in mind, this may be the notebook for that. So thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.